Thank you, Larry. Brandon Gordon, along with Charles Davis here in the booth, we are set for a spectacular draft champions matchup and some spectacular talent on your screen right now. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get down to the field for kickoff. Two teams here amped and ready for football, and off we go in week two of Draft Champions. They go play action here on first down. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Eric Decker, the intended target. And now it's second down. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly. And that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves his sticks. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Well, there it is, partner. Brady to Gronk, their first connection of the game. You think those two often in sync? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any question about it. And look, we know Gronk has a whole lot of fun, but he's deadly serious about his football, as is Tom Brady. Two great competitors, two fantastic players. On any pass that's in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. To throw, it's Brady. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Charles on the slant. You always need good ball placement. They got it there. Brandon, the quarterback, put it in the exact perfect spot, right to the upfield shoulder of the receiver, and he used his body to keep the defender away. Brady now on first down. <laughs> Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Again, it's Brady. This will be caught at about the five. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. They'll run it with Hill. And he's in across the chalk. Touchdown, San Diego. Jeremy Hill taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. And the Chargers grab the 7-0 lead. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. Now a hit and a loose football. And picked up by the Chargers. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And Gronkowski's got it complete over the middle. It'll be a gain of six, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. 
Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. And maybe a little of both. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. All right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so... And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Corey Coleman, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Play fake here on first down. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards on the pickup. And that leads to a San Francisco first down. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. Now the offense lining up first and 10. Over! 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 Three, 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 three! Set! They keep it on the ground. White again. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Back to throw, Smith. Catch left side here by Aiken. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Set, ready, ready. Here we go on fourth, Smith. This is Johnson, he's got it. It'll be a gain of four. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. We always talk about big time players make big time plays in big time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. Over the middle here to Brown. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. The defensive coordinator came into this game with a plan to get to the quarterback with whatever type of pressure is necessary. It's working to perfection for him today. To throw is Smith over the middle, and it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time. 
And that takes us from second to third down. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. And he dropped it. Now it was tipped. Altered the ball a little bit, but he dropped it. And now fourth down. You gotta give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. Under, under, under. They snap it to Smith. And it's brought in by Pitta. That one good for 10 yards. And on fourth and long, somehow they're able to keep the drive going. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. And now the offense gets set for play number 15 on this drive. It has been a long, long stanza for this unit. Ready? Now a carry for White. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Oh, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. They stay on the ground with White. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it will be second down. And they're going to speed things up here. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Play action. It's Smith. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Trent Murphy in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Under, under, under. Over, over. Over, over. On fourth down, Smith. And he can't hang on. That would have been a big interception down here in field goal range. But instead, now they'll get a shot at three. And now San Diego getting set to go. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Brady will try again on second down. The throw to the left side caught by Coleman. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And a pretty simple completion there underneath, but a successful one for the offense. Partner doesn't have to be the big shots downfield all the time. Having that safety net underneath is a great thing for a quarterback. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Chris Baker in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Move 20. Now Brady throwing on second down. Trying to lay one up deep. And that's caught inside the 35. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you cross-country to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando with our halftime report, here's Larry Ridley. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. 
I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or do they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Give him three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. To throw on second down is Smith. He's going to let this one go deep. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off William Gay. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. On first down, Brady. A dump off now to Hill. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll be second down. Three yards to go on second down. They slot Gronkowski outright. On second down, here's Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Looking for his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski, and it's third and short. One of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Brady now to throw, and that is incomplete. Eric Decker was the intended receiver, and it's now fourth and three. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 54 yards away. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So put another three on the board. And all things considered, a good opening drive here to begin the third quarter. It sure was. I think as a head coach, you're happy to come out and put a little drive together, take the three points, and build on your lead. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And out of bounds there on the kick. On first down, Smith. This is White on the screen. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. And quickly, they get to the line. Here's Smith, looking deep downfield. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. Throwing is Smith. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They are going for it. It's Smith. And it's brought in by Pitta. It's a pickup of 17 there. And they're able to move the chains as they convert on fourth and long. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. He's got his man on the crossing route. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And there they went cross.
crossing route against his own defense. What do you think of that? Takes real court. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Final minute now of the third quarter. Into the red zone, it's Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So many components go into a well-executed screen pass. You've got to sell, sell, sell. Offensive line's got to sell like they've missed blocks, and then they move out, and they're out in front of the running back. He's got to sell that he's trying to block, and then he slips out into the route. The quarterback has to sell that. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Corey Coleman, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the